Orion also offers a full line of uh, tabletop telescopes as well. These guys are very affordable and very portable. Um, it starts off at $49.95 for the basic little fun scope here and goes to $199.95 for the four and a half inch star blast on the end. Now these are great grab and go telescopes. They're, uh, like I said, very portable, lightweight. You can throw them in the back of the car, go off camping, take them into the backyard and put them on, the, on your table in the backyard. Uh, so they're great for the beginner, or also for somebody who already has a large telescope uh, and doesn't feel like bringing out uh, the large 10-inch Dobsonian and wants something quick and easy. Well, a, uh, a tabletop is definitely the answer. So let's talk about each one uh, individually and see what the benefits are. This is the Funscope. It's a 76 millimeter uh, reflector on a tabletop mount. It's great for the, the first-time buyer who's not really sure uh, if they want to get into the hobby and doesn't want to spend a lot of money. It's $49.95, uh, very affordable, and it'll allow you to see um, uh, bright objects, the moon in very good detail, planets, you'll be able to see Saturn's rings, uh, the, a cloud band on Jupiter, um, the four brightest moons around Jupiter, and if you get into a little darker sky site away from city lights, you can even see some of the brighter star clusters um, and a nebula or two, something like the Orion Nebula or the Andromeda Galaxy. All right, here we have two tabletop models that are both priced $99.95, uh, so still very affordable and very portable. On the right is the GoScope 80mm, and on the left is the Skyscanner 100. The, the advantage of the 80 on the right, you can also use it for some daytime viewing, too. It's a refractor design, so if you wanted to go hiking and look at the uh, climbers on the mountain um, or the boats sailing by, the refractor is the way to do it. The one on the left, the 100 millimeter, the view is upside down, so it's really only for the night sky, but it's a little bit bigger aperture, 100 millimeters versus 80. So it pulls in a little bit more light and allows you to see slightly fainter objects. Both of these are now big enough to not only see the moon and planets, but to start getting into some better deep sky objects. The Meze objects, all perfect for scopes of this size. And here we have the next level in the tabletop models. The, on the left, the Starblast 4.5 inch reflector tabletop, and on the right, the Starmax 90 millimeter tabletop. They're both $199.95. They're both, they're for different uh, uses. The Starblast is a large aperture, larger aperture reflector, so it's great for the fainter objects, the, the nebulae, the galaxies. Um, and it does a very good job at that. It will also allow you to see the moon and planets, but if you want the, the, a really nice detailed view of the planets, the Starmax here on the right has a very long focal length. It's great for planetary detail. Very high contrast, uh, very sharp images. So if you're looking for a, uh, a telescope that's great for the craters on the moon and specifically detail on planetary surfaces, you can't beat the little Starmax 90. Plus it's so small and compact, it's a very simple system to carry on with you wherever you go. One feature I haven't mentioned yet um, about these tabletop telescopes, with the exception of the 4.5, which is a little too big for this, the smaller 4 telescopes can actually be used uh, on a tripod and don't need to be tabletop mounted. The smaller 4 have a quarter 20 threaded hole in the bottom, and that will attach to any standard photo tripod. Here I've got a photo tripod without the head attached, but even with the head it'll still work. So, if you're going to be going somewhere and you're worried that they may not have a table available, well, bring your tripod out and away you go.